What's up? It's David Brody again, the host of the Brody Blog from Elvis Duran and the Morning Zoo. To hear all my blogs, check out ElvisDuran.com, keyword Brody, B-R-O-D-Y. On this edition of the Brody Blog, I've got the stars of the VH1 comedy, Free Radio, Lance Kroll and Anna Vosino. If you haven't seen it, the show's about a radio station where a fictitious host named Rip Rebel quits and his intern Lance takes over the show. The weather girl Anna becomes his sidekick. Lance, who's the host of the new show, Morning in the Morning, is a moron and has no clue what he's doing in radio. The show becomes more popular than ever. It's fun, it's funny, it's outrageous. You don't want to miss it. It's on VH1, 9.30 on Friday nights. After that, make sure you catch the reruns. On the phone, I've got Lance Kroll, who plays Lance, and Anna Vosino, who plays Anna. Let's talk to him. What's up, guys? What's up, Dave? Hey, Dave. Let me start off by saying that your show, Free Radio, is by far the funniest show on television. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God, thank you. I laugh out loud, and I laugh harder because I'm in radio. Sure, yeah. But I've told everyone I know who isn't in radio to watch the show. It is laugh out loud funny. But I have to ask you guys, how often do you find people who don't realize it's not real? Oh, all the time. Yeah, it's it's a surprising development. I mean, we you know we thought okay, it's the show's on TV, people are gonna know. I get hate mail from people like you're the worst you know radio interviewer ever. How did you ever get your job? I'm like, really? Yeah, I get that too. So. It's, yeah, right. <laughs> it's bizarre. Yeah, there's a lot of people that just don't know that it's they they don't know if it's a, a, a real radio show that's just being you know documented. They don't know if the you know if it's like a punked kind of show where the the you know yeah it's it's it's. You know, but in a way, that's kind of a compliment, I guess, to to our effectiveness as being, you know, real. Well, I have an assistant producer named TJ who does a lot of our prank phone calls, and he came in last week after I hyped up your show for, for a number of weeks. He says, I watched the show. Something's up with that. I looked it up. I can't find that station on the internet, and I don't <laughs> think that's, I don't think that's real. <laughs> Does anybody watch the opening credits? Because it's kind of explained in the opening credits. You know what? He watched the opening credits, and he and another coworker asked me, had I ever heard of Rip Rebel? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Who's Rip Rebel? How come I've never heard of him? I, I, I guess, I guess because it's on years. VH1, because VH1 is such a reality-heavy yeah. network that people might sense. think it's a reality show, but no, it's, it's you know totally what, everything's Stop fake. Stop trying to make TJ feel better. TJ obviously is stupid. <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, I'm... I'm, I'm <laughs> I'm, of course, talking to Lance Kroll and Anna Vosino yeah, yeah. from uh, Free Radio. Now, I'll tell you what makes the show seem real, and, and that's you, Anna. You have nailed what a typical female morning co-host is like across the country. Well, thank you. I'm the, the voice of reason. Yeah, the voice sure. of reason, the mother in the room. You are what makes it real because as much as, Lance, you're off the charts, Anna is, you know, she prepped for the interview. She's got the bio. She gets you back on track. That's what makes it real to me. Yeah, and no, absolutely. I have to prep so much, too, for the interviews, knowing that Lance doesn't have to. So I'm like, I'm always so nervous, like, because I want to make sure that, like, I keep things on track. Um, it's a lot of work. Thank God for YouTube. <laughs> well, Lance, uh, speaking of, of uh, you being uh, not having to do any research, brilliant job creating the show, making yourself the host, and then not doing any prep. You are a morning show host. <laughs> That's right. They let everybody else do the prep, and then they kind of ride the bus. Yeah. Yeah, the short bus at that. Absolutely. Now, how much prep did you guys do to learn radio? In other words, did you interact with radio guys? Did you research this? I got I got to be honest with you. I did no research at all. I just sort of winged it. I mean, I, I just assumed a couple of things, you know, because I've done some radio interviews before for other shows, and I was familiar with the format. I've been to, a, a, you know, one or two radio stations in my life to, like, you know, go do an on-air radio, you know, interview. So I was like, you know, I kind of got the vibe, and, you know, you kind of see the, the dynamic a little bit. And, and then everything else, we're like, well, it's a workplace comedy. I'm assuming they have a boss, and I'm usually assuming that that boss is usually fed up with everyone. And so so we just sort of winged it, and then when we uh, when we aired it, and we did these radio interviews. We were really, you know, pleasantly surprised by how accurate we got it. You know, it's frightening. I mean, down from corporate, you know, the mysterious corporate calling. Yeah. Right. Totally. You mentioned your boss, the station manager, who's who's James, who's played by Brian Husky. Yeah. Uh, famous for Sonic commercials, if you. Right. He's a genius. He he is just his one liners that come out kind of as he slips them in, whether it's his nickname, you know, in chat rooms or whatever. He just he's Oh I'm so glad you caught that one. Oh, I laughed my ass off. I backed it up on my TiVo and watched it again and called my wife in the room and I said, That's Watch great. this, watch this. <laughs> That's great. 
Yeah, you know, Viking Man. Yeah, Vi- yeah, Viking Man five 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 or something like that on Match dot com. The show reminds me if if you you know the Naked Gun movies, mm-hmm. but if you remember they had a TV show called Police Squad. Yeah, mm-hmm. which was only six episodes, and it's it's still my all time favorite show. But you had to watch every minute, every detail, every poster on the wall. You know, in your case, it's David Hasselhoff. <laughs> but, right. but there's always something going on, and no line is a throwaway line on your show. It's all a setup to something else. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's you know I'm really I'm really proud of the show. I've I've been involved in some other things before, but th- this by far just everything fell together. The cast is just amazing in it. Like even the smaller parts, like the girl that plays emo Sarah, and just everyone. It's just it, it's just great. My love, my the guy that plays my personal manager Jerry Bednob, oh, he's just fantastic. How great was he in Knocked Up? Yeah, I yeah. mean some of the funniest things on the internet are the outtakes of Knocked Up of just of him. Yeah. The guy is out of control. The, the, guy, un- the guy's out of control. Now, you guys met uh, in Atlanta. You did improv together for many years. Yeah, yeah, we started a theater company called The Whole World Theater. And yeah. it's still going on now, correct? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Emo Sarah was from there. She teaches classes, I believe, if I read the bios correctly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, I did improv in a traveling troupe for a number of years, and I'm dumbfounded with the kind of improv that you guys do. Most of this show is improv, correct? Yeah, the whole show the is whole improvised, show is yeah. Improvised, yeah. Okay, so you must have some kind of structure for what you want. When a guest comes in, you've had a lot of celebrity guests on, even though you're doing a fake radio show. I mean, you've had Kiefer Sutherland, Ray Romano, Jack Coleman from Heroes, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tony Shalhoub has been on. You've had real guests. What do they know? What are they prepped for? What are they told to expect when they come in? They're just told, okay, they know it's a comedy show. Right. But they, we, they're just told, react how you would want to react in a situation like that. Like, do you want to be angry? Like, Jeff Corwin came on, he's like, I just want to get pissed off at you. And, and he did, and it was brilliant. And, you know. Poor guy never punched a camel, so. Oh, my God, the punching the camel thing. That fell it's out. hysterical. It's so I, you know, you guys cracked up where um, you guys were interacting, and you could see, Anna, that you thought what Lance had said mm-hmm. was so funny that Lance started smirking, and I just thought it was great because clearly you were for a half a second out of character, and it was there, beautiful. There, there are a few <laughs> moments in a few episodes where, it's, but my husband always calls it out. He's like, you're laughing there. It's so obvious, you know, to people who know me, try not to keep it Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, that, that, was, that was what was great about doing the show is it really was totally unrehearsed and unplanned, and so there were so many genuinely, you know, surprising moments for us the actors in it and and uh and you know that really translates when you watch the show the show is very unpredictable you don't know where it's going to go it doesn't feel like it's being spoon fed to you um it's because we didn't know what was going on you know i mean like 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 anna said you know the the celebrities didn't have any idea what we were going to ask them um or the tone of 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 the interview at all so you know a lot of their reactions were very genuine and in the moment so uh yes it 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 add that authenticity to the show. Well, it's fantastic. When Kiefer Sutherland didn't want to put the headphones on, I can't tell you how often that's happened. Our host, Elvis Duran, has had that conversation with anyone who walks in the room, put the headphones on. And Mariah Carey will not put the headphones on. She doesn't want to mess her hair up. Yeah, don't don't make her put those headphones on. And so it just makes me laugh so hard because it's all 100% real, (laughs) even though it's not. And and speaking of 100% real, Lance, I did want to talk about something you mentioned a minute ago about other shows you've been involved with. I just want to go back in time a couple of years. Okay. Kip... Joe Schmo, brilliant. <laughs> Thank the, you. The concept was brilliant. The the acting on the show, of all of the people on the show, poor Matthew didn't know he was... If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you're listening to this, please go and buy the DVD of Joe Schmo. Lance, when I saw you on free radio, I go, oh my God, it's Kip. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that that show was a it was it was like an improv like workshop. I mean we had to be in character twenty four seven. I had to, we had to wake up in character, you know. So yeah, I had to, I had to like train myself for a week before that show to like just wake up with a Cuban accent, you know. <laughs> well, listen, tonight's the finale of Free Radio. Do we know yet if there's going to be a second season? We're hoping. You know, we, 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 we have a lot of fans. We have a lot of loyal viewers. Uh, VH1 is, you know, obviously very happy with the show. They love it. It's a different show for VH1. So it, it, there's a little bit of a challenge of, of getting some traction on that network because people don't think to tune into VH1 for a show like this. But, you know, they know that they, can, they can't do, you know, celebrity rehab for the rest of their lives. So they definitely, you know, they definitely love our show. And we should find out soon. I'm doing my part to create buzz for your show. Thank you. Uh, guys, from an interview standpoint, thank you. But as a fan of the show and a, as someone in radio, you're doing us an injustice and a justice at the same time. <laughs> thank you very much. Good luck with it. I hope there's a DVD out soon and a second season. Thanks for giving me a couple of minutes of your time. Uh, our pleasure. So thank much. you so much. Thank Bye-bye. you. Well, there you go. Lance Crawl and Anna Vosino from VH1's Free Radio. 
Make sure you go to VH1.com for all kinds of extras, outtakes, video blogs, lots of fun stuff from the show. Maybe they'll do a marathon, catch up on all the episodes you missed. It's great. Free radio, VH1. As always, thanks for listening to the Brody Blog. Remember to email me at zoobrody at gmail.com and let me know what you thought. Peace out, everybody. The Brody Blog is property of Clear Channel Communications and may not be rebroadcast in any medium.